Hi everyone, so today as you can see I haven't got any mascara on. I'm going to be filming a first impression on a mascara that, or a mascara product that is very, very controversial um, and you can tell by the title I'm going to be talking about the unique 3D Moonstruck Fiber Lashes product. So I was offered this by a lovely lady, by a lot of lovely ladies actually, um, but the first person who sent it to me, I said, um, offered to send it to me, I said, sure, I'll give it a go, I'm going to be honest, and I'll try it out. So, she sent it to me along with a lot of other products. I will leave her link down below because obviously, if you don't know, Unique is like an Avon kind of thing, like you become a representative and you have your own store. So, I'll leave hers down below because it's only fair, she sent it to me first. So, yeah, what this product basically is, I'll just open it really quick. It's a fiber lash extension system. Um, this is not a regular mascara, it goes over top of your natural, normal mascara, natural mascara would, your normal mascara, so you've got a tube of fibres, which is like, I think it's green tea fibres I was reading, just like the little, um, fairy bits, and then you've got the transplanting gel which you put on beforehand so that it, you know, goes on nicely and sticks. So, yeah, this product retails, I believe, 38 New Zealand dollars, which, on a whole, it's not actually that expensive considering... How much normal mascaras are but you don't actually get a mascara in here if that makes sense this is supposed to be a three month supply so i don't know we'll see how this goes but the whole thing is that this a lot of the promo images for this product looks like spider lashes like really like literally like this is the eyeball and those are the lashes like not that cute so that's why i wanted to try it out so that i could kind of for myself see if they are good or bad and i'm going to be completely honest with this review um if it sucks it sucks if it's great it's great take it with a grain of salt but that's my opinion so we're just going to get right into it i've already done a little bit of um eyeshadow and that's all that i'm going to do today because i really want the lashes to stand out so as i said this is not a normal mascara you need to put it in conjunction with a regular mascara so i think today i'm going to go with my benefit the real because this is a mascara that i know i use it every single day so i know how it makes my lashes look so I'm going to zoom you guys in a little bit so that you guys can see the eyeballs. Okay, so now I'm going to apply the mascara to my eyes. I'm trying my absolute hardest not to move. If I'm out of focus, I'm really sorry. I'm only going to apply a really, really light coat. Because I don't want it to like be too crazy to start off with. So this is what one thin coat of mascara looks like on me. You can see that it is quite... My lashes are pretty long from Revita Lash, so they're looking pretty cool. So this, I'm completely happy with my lashes looking like this, but for the sake of being excessive, let's crack out their unique 3D Barber Lash. First off, I just need to let these bad boys dry, so I'm going to give them a second to chill and dry, and then I will be right back. Just while we're waiting, this product claims to give you a 300% increase in thickness and volume, which to me sounds quite disgusting, and you can see right there what people say about the marketing, like those lashes look absolutely heinous like I don't know about you but if my lashes were that thick it's they're literally thickness is a good thing but thickness is not a good thing when it becomes like 55 times the size of your natural lashes like it's just not not cute so I'm gonna go ahead and use the transplanting gel it's just got smells weird it's got a traditional mascara wand a little bit of like an hourglass shape and it's very goopy so I'm going to go over all the lashes on the top, I mean on the bottom and then on the top, just to make sure that like any of the fibres that I apply really really adhere. And then you're supposed to really quickly before that dries, get your fibres. Ooh, That's really weird anyway. Oh, no, 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 honey, no, I don't like this. So, yeah. Don't know how I'm feeling about this. At all. And then you just need to reseal it again with the transplanting gel so that you don't get fluffy fibres everywhere. I'm just going to keep coating them in hopes that like some of the ridiculous fibres drop off. So this is what it looks like with one coat of the fibre lashes. I don't know how well you guys can really see them. Don't really know how I feel about it. Um, they're kind of clumpy and spider lash, like spider leggy. I don't really know how I feel. 
let me know what you think down below about this um, I'm just gonna put some mascara on this side so that we can see the comparison between 3d fiber lash and just normal mascara so this is obviously the comparison between my normal lashes and then the mascara with the 3d fiber lash I'm looking up because I feel like that's the easiest way for you guys to see it because doing that really doesn't know justice um, I wouldn't see 300% increase I wouldn't want 300% increase to be fair so I don't know so there you go you can now see the comparison between the my normal lashes and the lashes with the 3d fiber lash there's definitely a humongous difference um, it's just whether or not you like the difference I know that everybody has different tastes some people this might be their ideal lashes some people this might be like the worst lashes they could possibly ever see the gel stays wet for a while by the way it gives you huge lashes but I think you need to be careful not to make them clumpy I probably will use this and continue to use it um, but you need to be really really careful that you don't go OTT so let's do this eye and see if it comes out the same I go in with the transplanting gel which is seriously so goopy I don't I don't really get it anyways just applying that all over and then again this for some reason reminds me of like pubes sorry to be disgusting but it does and this doesn't even have a mascara wand on it I don't feel like unless it's like hidden underneath all the pubes well fibers it just feels like I'm attacking it with like a stick and I don't know how I feel about that I've heard that these are really really painful to get into your eyeballs so just be aware that these and eyeballs do not go very well together so you can see after you first apply the fibers it literally looks quite nasty to be completely honest um, but then I think once you've applied the transplanting gel all the excess ones come off and it just the ones that are on your lashes just kind of stay there there we go that's the I finished you can see it's pretty much the same in terms of length so here's just one final look at the eyes it's gonna go like crazy and start looking everywhere I really want you guys to be able to get like a good view of them so to kind of conclude on this product I I can't really decide I'm a bit 50 50 I'm not a fan of like how the company kind of seems to market their products and stuff I'm not like validating that in any way but I don't know I feel like the lashes are definitely longer there's no doubt about that it definitely works to extend your lashes um, but it does give you kind of like that thick too thick spidery effect um, I wouldn't dare go over one coat of this th this stuff at least with my length of lashes I think it does depend on how long your lashes are um, and what mascara you used to start off with but I don't know I really don't know what I would give it as a rating maybe like a three and a half out of five it definitely does the job it's just whether or not you like the look that it gives please can you guys tell me down below what you think of this product that would be really really awesome and really really helpful yeah thank you guys so much for watching I really hope that you enjoyed this first impression if you have any other products that you'd like to see first impressions on please do let me know and I will try to do those for you as soon as I can so thank you guys again and I will see you all next time bye bye